my retreat. I walked down the road to give you a scope of how far out in the country we are. This is across the road. I'll show you better the house. It's like a log cabin. They make me my own gluten-free dessert, which is cool. This is lunch. Almond bars. Some kind of cherry thing. This salad's really good. It's a spinach with oranges, candied nuts, a vinaigrette dressing. And then a really yummy chicken salad with crescent rolls. And that's lunch. This is the whole kitchen area. Very nice. We usually sit at the table, but not during Corona, of course. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can turn the light on. So this is, I don't know where the light switch is. Oh, it's on the wall behind you. <laughs> This is where there's coffee, iced tea, all that kind of stuff, 24-7. That light's kind of getting a glare. The living room, we can come to any time. The gold TV, decorated very nicely. And then there's all these videos we can use. There's two TVs in where we're crafting. Clean pool towels. Side. There's a nice place to sit with some rocking chairs. There's a hot tub and a pool. Gazebo. That that is called the bar, the cabin. And we use the craft in there. There's room for like 15 people, plus bedrooms in there, a quilt room all kinds of stuff. For this time we're in what used to be a garage. It's called the cabin bedroom with handmade quilts. And there's a bathroom back there. Don't need to see the bathroom. <laughs> this used to be all bunk beds, but her their clientele started aging as I am. <laughs> so they cut the bunk beds in half and made them made it so it's, there's room for a bunch of single beds. Here's our craft room that we're working on, uh, working in, on our little retreat. It's pretty messy looking, because we all have a lot of stuff. Okay, you guys have said last time you wanted to see what I do, so this is one of my, my first monochrome watercolor. It's a new set I got, so I had to play with it. One of the girls brought some stuff she didn't want, so I picked through it and got some stuff from hers to play with. This is made out of like a fabric. These, uh, this, uh, and so I painted on it, but it didn't turn out real good. But here's some stickers that she had and some butterfly paper. And I just noticed this one's upside down. <laughs> the butterflies are upside down. I have to see if I can fix that. It might be too late. Snowman. I borrowed those from somewhere I took. I can't borrow. I gotta, cannot give them back. I put probably a happy birthday on there, but I didn't bring any sentiment stamps. Another snowman. Some Halloween stuff. Let's see. We can go around and see what some of the other people have made. I made more Halloween stuff, but I figured you didn't need to see them all. So one of my friends does scrapbooking. Like, she does these... Really nice scrapbooking pages. Here's 
here's another card making person. It's one of her cards, some of her other cards. All her paraphernalia to make cards. <laughs> This is one of my friend watercolors. It's, she buys these kits that has all the stuff. Like that's a, what she's gonna do, but she hasn't done it yet. It's just a sample of what you're supposed to do. There's another one she's gonna do, the water lily one. This one she did, she freehanded this one. Aren't these feathers pretty? Yeah, I don't think I could do that. There's some of the cards she's made. Little Christmassy ones. And I'm not sure if these other two ladies left stuff out to look at or not. This is a die cut machine where it embosses things and cuts out things with these little metal these little metal things like this, you put a paper on it and then you put it in this machine and it cuts out your circle or whatever. Oh, let's see, they're so neat they picked everything up. I was afraid of that. Well, here's one thing that this one lady made. I think they made these without stamps. They just made them freehanded. I gotta have the stamps to get me started. Here's one that they made. So I thought you'd want to see some of the stuff we're working on. And this, this board is for quilters, that big white board. They can put their quilts up. So she has room for quilting stuff. And then there's all kinds of food, of course, <laughs> that we brought. And then they, have, of course, have food here. so. There's a picture before this part of the clip. There's a picture of what I had for dinner last night. It was pulled pork and beans and uh, can't remember a salad with Italian dressing from uh, Olive Tree, <laughs> Olive Garden. I mean, all not Olive Tree. That's it, Olive Garden. So we're kind of messy workers. There's little scraps of paper everywhere. <laughs> Kind of cold in here, so I have a blankie. You now I still got my PJs on, so you're not going to see me. But I hope you're enjoying this little trip with me, and we will talk again soon.